Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I'm here today with another quick and easy recipe for caramel apple cereal bars. So you are going to need two cups of caramel, a quarter cup of milk that you're going to use to melt the caramel. You're going to need dried apples. These are not the freeze-dried crunchy apples. These are the dried chewy apples. You're gonna need a cup of them chopped up. You're going to need three quarters of a cup of peanuts. I am using unsalted, but if you prefer salted, that is fine. And you're going to need six cups of Czech cereal. I'm using rice cereal, but if you'd prefer to use cinnamon checks or apple cinnamon checks or even corn checks, that is totally fine. So if you want to see how this quick and easy recipe comes together, stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to start by dropping in my cereal and my peanuts, my dried apples. I'm just gonna stir this around. And I've already microwaved my caramel. I decided microwave is easier than doing it on the stove top. It took me probably about three minutes to get the caramel melted. So I'm just going to pour in my caramel and give it a good stir. Okay, so I've got my cereal all coated. Make sure you really get in there and make every, and make sure that every piece of cereal um, has caramel on it. And you're gonna probably break some cereal. That's totally okay. It's not gonna stay completely whole. So next, you're going to grab your nine by 13 pan. And I have mine um, covered with nonstick foil. If you don't have nonstick foil, parchment paper, parchment paper will work, or you can heavily butter the pan. Um, so all you're gonna do is just pour your cereal mixture in. So I've got it all in there, and you're gonna spread this out. Now a little trick I'd like to share is I like to coat my hands with um, like coconut oil or butter or something like that. I just do a quick spray on my hands, rub it together, and then that makes it easier to spread out the cereal. And you're gonna try to work as fast as you can, kind of like when you're making Rice Krispie treats. You're gonna wanna work fast because you don't want this mixture to get cool. And then just press it down the best that you can. Okay, so I am going to let this cool for a couple of hours, and then I'll be back to show you how it turns out. All right, it's been a couple of hours since my bars have cooled off. And as you can see, I cut some out for you guys and they're a little bit stickier and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the humidity or what, but I've got my husband here. He's gonna show you the bottom of the bar so you can see what it looks like. Looks like the top, of course. And then he's gonna break a bar apart so you guys can see the texture. It's kind of a soft bar, kind of like a soft Rice Krispie treat, um, but it's so good. You can taste the apple and the peanuts in there. It's absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.